Ladies and gentlemen, I have been telling you for quite some time that the kiss of death in horror movies is to have an interracial couple. You know as soon as you see them, they're going to be doomed. Tonight, I have for you the exception to the rule. And on top of that, it's a damn good horror movie. As Cinematic Class is about to begin, and your professor is it. Greetings, salutations, and other sun. I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a movie called The Devil Comes at Night. This is a good one. Um, I should clarify. There isn't, a, uh, there is, but there isn't an interracial couple. There are, uh, there's a black man and a white girl, and they're kind of thrown together. They weren't a couple to begin with. So I guess technically my theory of the interracial couple always being doomed in a horror flick still holds a lot of uh, gravitas, if you will. Uh, but this movie, uh, wow, I had a lot of fun uh, watching this. How about uh, Demonic Cannibal Cult? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff that's going on. Let me give you some of the names here. This is This was written and directed by uh, Scott Lever, and he's done a nice job in putting this together. Remember, it's an independent horror film. It comes from the folks at Uncorked, and as a result, the budget is limited, but he's done an awful lot of good stuff with a limited budget, and that is greatly helped by cinematographer Nelson Rogers, who has shot this thing pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, I think what makes this movie work so well is misdirection. I mean, originally, when we see uh, our main characters come in, we get the impression that they could be nefarious no-goods. But then we find out as the plot unfolds that our protagonist, Ben, who is played by Ryan Allen, actually is not... a uh, run-of-the-mill thief and drunkard. He's actually a very noble character. He happens to cross paths with Amy, who is played by Adrian Cress, and the two of them are thrown into a rather perilous situation. The person who has put them there is Mason. And Mason is played by Jason Martorino. Let me tell you, folks, these uh, three, especially the top two, especially Ryan and Adrian, do a really fine job of acting. In fact, it's their thespian chops, if you will, that really pull this thing along because they sucker you in pretty good as to who their characters are. You know, this might be a good time right now. We'll take a little look at the devil. Come. Oh. Hello? Jack, are you there? We can't leave until I find the money. You haven't found the safe yet? Not yet. Looks like half the town is looking for you. I've never seen anything like this before. Who is in my house? Your dad gave me keys. I didn't break in. Your dad, he told me that if anything weird happened in town that I was supposed to come here and hide. The whole town's acting bizarre. You're afraid of the dark, Ben? Why are you doing this? <gasps> I promise you haven't seen anything yet. Something demonic is going on. We're gonna finish what we started. This 
really isn't one of those movies with a whole lot of cat in the window uh, scenes. There's just a few, uh, but it, it's eerie. And as such, it, it's pretty good as far as horror films go. You know, the, the cannibal demon cult actually starts through a, a botched exorcism. So uh, you have a whole lot of things going on here that, uh, that some might say are tropes as far as horror films are concerned, but they're combined in a very unique way to present a very nice story. Well, speaking of stories, this might be time to go back back to the early Cretaceous period, check in on what the nation's first and only prehistoric film critic thinks. Let's go back. The Devil Comes at Night. I think you'll like this one. It's got a, just enough of a, a different flavor to it uh, to make it worthwhile. And while some of you might sit back and go, wait a minute, that ending is kind of a deus at machina. Yeah, go with the movie. I think it's pretty good. You like this one. We're going to give it an above average grade. And now that you have learned what you have learned, Oh, 